we're going to do a hive inspection. This will be the first inspection that this hive has had uh, this spring, which is early in Georgia. But in order to do that, I always tell people when you do a hive inspection, it's like doing a, it's like buying a used car. You always look at the outside first, you do the kicking of the tires, and then you look under the hood. Well, right now, we're going to look at the outside real quick. I'm looking at the front of my hive, and one of the things I'm noticing about the front of my hive versus the ones that are next to it is that there's a lot more activity on the other hives. This one has some activity. I see bees going in and out of every entrance, which is good, but not nearly as much as what's over there. Now that may or may not be a cause for concern, but that's just something I noticed. So I always do a visual, and if you have other hives that you can compare it to, um, that's a good thing to start with. So it, it, it pretty much looks okay, but it's just not as active as the other hives. So when we go in, we're gonna see what's going on on the inside. So now we're gonna take a peek under the hood. So now we're gonna look under the hood. Now I've got a feeder here, so I can actually take this lid off without bees coming to greet me right away. So I put my uh, lid next to there, and now I'm gonna crack it open, I'm gonna listen and hear what the bees are saying about me opening them up. Because sometimes they get a little vocal and sometimes they're calm. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is listen. I crack it open. I don't really hear anything, so that, that's a good sign. That, that means they're in a good mood. It's a sunny day, so we'll keep moving. So here's what I see after I took the lid off. There's not a lot of bees up here. I see some bees here. They're in here, mostly on this side. This is a honey super, and I'm gonna check the weight of it in just a second here. I'm gonna crack it, uh, break the seal off the other two hive bodies, and then I'm gonna uh, see how heavy this is. So I'm gonna crack the seal right here. Just loosen it up. I didn't even use smoke yet, because they're, they're pretty common. There's not a lot of bees up here, so let's, uh, Let's check this. Now, this is very light. There's not much honey in here. So that tells me the two things on a hive inspection is food in the pantry and signs of life. There's not much food in the pantry. But this also looks like honey here. So I'm going to check this one. Check the weight of it. They might have had two honey supers for the winter. So I'll check the weight here. A little bit heavier. They have some food, so they're not starving. And we're at the early stages of the flow. But let's take a closer look at the brood nest. So here's the brood nest. Now obviously the reason why this colony wasn't as active uh, outside when we did our visual inspection is there's just not as many bees as the other colonies have. But you can tell right now, just by looking at these first four frames, this is where all the activity is, right here. There's not much happening here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a look and make sure our queen is here because we do find some food. So the two main things on inspection is, do you have food in the pantry and do you have life in your hive? So let's, let's examine to make sure we've got our queen and if she's laying eggs and, and that'll be a good check for us. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna take these uh, one frame at a time. And this is the, the first time this box has been open this year. So they sometimes glue things a little bit. But they're being pretty gentle. I haven't used any smoke on them yet. I've got my smoker ready just in case, but if you don't need it, don't use it. Let's lift this out. Nice and gentle. And I see some more food in the pantry. I see pollen on this frame. You can see the pollen in the cells. Now that's already a good sign because pollen is for feeding baby bees and that's down in the brood chamber. So that's good. So we're going to go to the next frame. I'm going to set that one right here. Okay, let's go to frame number two. This is an eight frame hive. This is frame number two. Okay, now here we have some signs of life. There's hatching brood here. The dark brown is the hatching brood. 
and I see larva in these cells. So that's that's good. That means we've got an active queen and I'm also looking straight down in the cells and I see eggs. So even if I don't see my queen, I know she's here because there's eggs. And in fact, there's our queen right here. See her? There she is. Oh, now she found a, a spot to go in and go on the other side. There's a hole right in the middle of that comb. And here she is on this side now. I can't see her. Right where my finger is. Okay. So there's our girl. And she's uh, a good looking queen. And it's just early in the year. She may need time to get up to speed. So we'll put that back. And examine frame number two and just see if uh, she's got more things to look forward to, like hatching brood. And sure enough, there is some hatching brood here. And again on this side, the same thing. And let's go to frame number four. Get her beetle trap out of the way. Okay. Okay, um, so let me, let me say this. So what I've been able to look at in this particular colony is that it was a big colony last year. Cluster is small. I don't see any signs of disease though. So that's a good thing. Um, if I saw bees that were deformed with uh, wrinkled wings and things like that, I would suspect maybe Varroa infestation. I don't see that. I think this, uh, this colony just got small over the winter and now we just have a small cluster that's just trying to get up to speed. What I'm gonna do with this particular colony is I'm gonna take away anything that they're not using. Anything that these bees can't cover as far as the amount of frames, I'm just gonna take away from them. So what that may wind up meaning for us is we're gonna be down to a nuke. I'm gonna reduce this colony to a nuke size box and just let them manage a smaller space for now. And I'm also going to give them a little um, nectar gold for feeding. Uh, that's our nectar stu substitute that we use. And that'll build the strength of the colony uh, by giving them what they need for their, their uh, digestive health. Uh, it has uh, the vitamins and minerals that they would normally find in flower nectar. Because we're still at the beginning, si or the beginning time of the spring, and it's really not a heavy flow right now. We're just getting a very light flow. So I'm going to give these bees a little bit of help. And once the flow begins, I can probably stop feeding and we'll just monitor the progress of this hive. But they have food, they have a queen bee, they have eggs, and they have uh, brood at different stages. So everything checks out. They're just not a real strong colony right now. So I'm going to keep the best five frames and put them in a nuke box. They'll be a lot happier because they'll have a space they can manage easier. And I want to mark my queen while we're here. So I'm getting my tools ready for that. So they don't need this anymore. So we'll set our nuke body here that we're gonna place them into. And I uh, found a frame of honey from last, last season, it's still good. And we can give them that. I'm just gonna trim back some of, this, some of these cells, which are a little bigger. Sometimes they draw honeycomb really fat. So I'm just gonna trim that down. Now they may have a frame of honey with more, and if they do, I'll, I'll keep that. But for the meantime, I'll make sure that they do have some food here. I'm going to take the best five frames of bees and brood and put them in there. So let's have a look. Let's see if our queen is here. She is. So we are going to capture her and mark her. Now she has a blue dot. I'm going to try to let you see in here. She has a blue dot on her for the year 26 or 2015 because that's the year she hatched. No queens have hatched this year so far for 2016. So she's in here. She's got her dot. I'm just going to give her a second to dry and release her. It really only does take about 20 or 30 seconds. And there 
she goes. There she goes. So I had a bee come check me out here. So I'm going to put on some of my invisible force field. I actually put a little smoke on myself. There we go. Now they can't see me anymore. I'll just shake them in there. What I like about this frame too, this also is a half a frame of honey. You can see the honey. The honey's over here. It's capped and the rest of it's uncapped. And what I like about this is that it's got empty comb and it's already drawn and the queen can lay eggs in it right away. So that's a keeper. Now the rest I can uh, use for starting nukes. That's enough honey for this colony. What I'm gonna look for next is any comb that's drawn that's good for brood comb. And that's all they're gonna get. The rest of it is for me so I can start nukes. So if I find any honey that's uh, in some of these, which I do have already, I've got partial frames of honey. That's okay, they got enough for the amount of bees they have. There's another nice frame of honey right here. This is good. I'll keep this for uh, starting nukes with, which is gonna be just around the corner. This is a feeder, which I don't really think they're gonna need, but I'm gonna put it here anyway. That way, if I do need it, it's here, uh, and I don't have to hunt for it later. But that's our hive inspection, everyone. And they got a nice, shiny new box, ready to go. And your bees are gonna be happier in a space that's smaller. Um, because of all that space that they had for the amount of bees, it just, uh, for them, felt overwhelming. So right now, they'll feel better about what they do. There's more bees to cover the comb, which is gonna give their colony strength. So they can keep all the combs clean, they can get rid of pests, they can uh, manage their situation a lot better uh, by not having as much to, to cover. They don't have as much ground to cover. So hopefully this will help you with your hive inspections. And this was actually a good example of uh, a hive that really wasn't doing that great. I mean, it's okay, but um, it, it needed this kind of help. So every hive inspection is different. Everybody loves to open up a box of bees and just see them bubbling over, nice healthy colony, but once in a while you run into something like this. This is not the end of the world, and it's something that you can easily fix. We had food to put in there. Uh, they, they actually had enough of their own, so um, they're gonna be fine. I just gave them a smaller space to work in. I marked my queen, and I know she's a survivor queen. She made it through the winter, so all my queens that make it through the winter get last year's marking color, which is blue. This year is white, but last year's was blue, and so anytime I see a blue queen, I know that that's a queen from the year 2015, and she's survived the winter. So that's a good stock. So we're gonna let this colony go to work. We'll check back here maybe in a few weeks. About two weeks probably is what we'll do. We'll check on everybody in about two weeks. See you next time, friends. Enjoy beekeeping.